Good morning, folks. Today we've got several items to hit. We're going over rare blue auroras, solar impact to air travel, and of course, you almost certainly caught in the title, we've got a resurgence of solar activity and an X-class solar flare. So let's begin, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, where the coronal hole stream is either still coming or was fairly weak in its impact. Solar flaring has jumped back up into X-class range. Luckily, the CME was not aimed at our planet. Let's go ahead and check some of the telemetry, starting with the X-ray flares. Goes Flux here shows this morning's big flare event, blasted out from the departing active region instead of the new growing incoming group. If it had not been over here to the side, the CME might be aimed our way. As it stands, that sunspot group is beginning to depart while the developing spots are just about its central heliographic longitudes. We'll keep eyes open on this front. Lastly, in space weather, we have been expecting a coronal hole stream and a slight plasma pressure increase occurred overnight. It's possible that it was simply the phi angle flip associated with the sector boundary and it was minor. We'll see today if a faster stream arrives at Earth. Let's go next to air travel near the polar region. While a super solar storm can impact flights across the globe, it's very regular that more modest solar activity creates communication or radiation issues near the polar cusp. This paper describes those events and plans to avoid the disruption to travel infrastructure. During a super flare, that challenge would be extreme and would spread to lower latitudes. Top story today is the recent emergence of the blue aurora. This phenomenon is highly irregular. The visuals seem tied to Earth's magnetic field lines, but that also creates a bit of a mystery, because the way that blue aurora are supposed to occur, from energetic neutral atoms, heavy nitrogen in this case, the neutral part means they should not care about magnetic fields. Based on how baffled they are, it isn't unreasonable to investigate whether the recent surge in blue aurora sightings is related to the ongoing changes in Earth's magnetic field. We discuss that topic regularly at Observer Ranch events. We've got major events coming on Saturday and then about once a month after that. Come out and see us, ObserverRanch.com. Today we've got a fun mug swap event and lots of kids activities. Again, that's ObserverRanch.com. And the topic of the magnetic pole reversal and what it means for us in the future is the subject of our upcoming documentary, due out in 2025. Please let me take a moment to plug our sponsor of the film, Gold Co. Simply put, there are various stages of this unfolding event where precious metals are not just a backstop but could be vital for trade in collapsing systems. Many of you already prep gold and silver, and if you ask me, why not get it from a company full of observers? goldobservers.com. Go ahead and fill in those blank spaces in your prepping today. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now. It's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.